Boy, I'm looking fucking sexual today. Looking sexual. Got that bandana all done up in a strange way. I know y'all don't understand that. I don't really understand it either. Anyway, got the blue light from the television in my face. Look at that. Ah, yeah. Anyway, today we're going to talk about televisions. Specifically, this one right here and how I came to get it. So check it out, punk ass bitch. I got a TV. Yeah. Took a lot of work. A lot of grueling fucking work to get this TV. Anyway, back when I got this hoe, I was fucking working off in the oil field doing some flow back. I told y'all about that shit. I told you about Chansey Boy and that high tech gating. Go back, watch the episodes. Quit slipping up. Go back, watch the show. But anyway, I was working off in that oil field. I was going to college, paying my way with that oil field money. I was like, damn, I had the same motherfucking television for a long time now. I think it was a tube television. Shit was sad. Anyway, it was time to fucking get a new TV. So, what I had to do was get a little bit of money together, work in the oil field for like two hours and had enough for a TV. Shit was crazy. So, I was like, one day, man, as soon as I get out of college over here off at Weatherford, I'm gonna go get a television. So, I had figured that Wally World, that big W, would be a viable option considering they always got them low, low prices. Psych, they don't got low prices at all. That's bitch ass lies, is what that is. Anyway, I rolled off in that Walmart, dude. Rolled up in there, strolled back to the electronics, started looking at the tubes. I set my eyes upon many a TV that was far out of reach for my financial budgets, dude. I was looking at them all. I was like, hmm, $1,500 for a TV? That TV better blow me. That TV better reach out a hand outside of that TV and fucking start whacking me off, dude, if I'm paying $1,500. Shit's insane. Uh, so, I think smart TVs were just now starting to become a thing, and they were all expensive as fuck like that. So, I set my eyes on this bad boy right here. This sharp television. It ain't smart, but it'll do. As fucking Josh just texted me saying that I'm not the best rapper in the Tri-County area. <laughs> I'm not the best in Tri-Counties, fool. Then I might as well just fucking off myself and quit. I don't even know why I rap. Anyway, back to the televisions, dude. I set my eyes on a sharp. Didn't look at the price tag. Psych, I looked at the price tag, and it was like $599 or something like that. And I was like, pfft. Funny money, dude. Cha 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 cha. Shelled out that dough. Picked up my sharp TV, loaded it up in my troca, dude, and headed back to Jacksboro. I was feeling like a million bones, dude. I was feeling gooder than fuck, dude. Rolled up in there with my new TV, talking about uh 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 uh. Set the TV up, dude. Oh man, I was ready to go, dude. I started playing some Batman Arkham Asylums on that fucking TV, dude. Some of that PlayStation Trace, dog, up on that motherfucker just playing some Batman Arkham Asylum on that 49 inches, dude. Uh, when I asked people about it, they were like, they don't make 49 inch TVs. <laughs> yeah, they sure do. And that's the size of this one right here with your bitch ass lying. Anyway, I was playing PS Trace, dude, fucking Batman Arkham Asylums up on that TV, and I noticed something. Down in the fucking corner side of the fucking TV, right about cha, right about cha through here, there was some sort of line, dude. And I noticed and looked closer. There was a little dent in the bottom of the TV, dude. They created a line. It was a tiny hairline fracture on my fucking TV, but I had just dropped five ninety nine on that hoe. So I was not about to deal with none of that. I was like. Well, this pisses me the fuck off, but I'm about to load this hoe up and go back to that Walmart and tell them they fucked up. Because y'all got me mistaken if you think I'm about to drop big money on some motherfucking shit and that shit's not going to be in pristine, immaculate condition. Yeah, tiny fracture on that bitch, but nonetheless, I loaded it up, headed back to Weatherford, grumbling under my breath. Why the fuck I got to do this? Fucking shit is bullshit, dude. Wanted to start punching the steering wheel, but I didn't. Anyway, I got there. I told them what was up. I brought their hoe-ass TV back in. 
The fucking ladies were like, yeah, we don't know what could have happened to it. We're not really sure, but we'll replace it for you with an equal value television. I was like, good, I want the same one, only this time not fucked. I am not one to take a whole lot of bullshit. So I told them ladies, I was like, I want to hook this one up and make sure it works perfect and there ain't no fractures and shit in it this time. So they were like, we can do that, but you're going to have to give us a minute. We got some customers, and then once they're done, we'll plug it in right over here and show you. I'm not really sure why they're half British, half incestuous inbred fucking hillbillies, but... Anyway, they got done with their customers, and they plugged it in. They say, look here, boy, it works just fine. So I looked it over. I looked it over. I was like, okay, looks pretty good. Looks pretty good. So give me my shit and let me roll out of here as I wasted gas doing this. Weatherford to fucking Jacksboro is about a 45 minute drive, dude. So I had already made that 45 minute drive to school that morning, to the Walmart, then back to Jacksboro, then back to Weatherford. Now with my second TV, I was returning to Jacksboro. So got back to Jacksboro, hooked it up. I'm like, it's time for that Arkham Asylum PS3 shit. So I hooked it up. So... I hooked it up, started playing my game, noticed in that bottom fucking corner, dude, in the same about area on this TV as well, the fucking shit had a hairline fracture, only this time it was much more minimal. You had to look real fucking close to notice it. But I did notice it, and I was like, oh, hell fucking no, dude. I'm about to explode on these fucking Walmart people, dude. I immediately started theorizing about why two TVs had dinner in the same spot and realize that some dumbass motherfucking lumper type people fucking put that shit on a goddamn pallet or the pallet got dropped wrong or something happened and it fucked up the whole batch. Uh, I was about to make my third round trip from Jacksboro to Weatherford and back again that fucking day. So this time on the way back to Walmart with the second busted ass TV, I was pissed. Screaming and punching steering wheels. Talking about why are these motherfuckers fucking me over right now, dude. So pissed. So fucking pissed. Showed up. Told them. Dude, here's your busted shit again. At this point... I was in an intense state of fury, straight up fury, going off on bitches, talking about y'all dropped the fucking pallet, dude, and sold me two busted ass TVs, and now I've wasted gallons of fucking gas going back and forth and back and forth to this fucking place, dude. I was like, y'all gonna reimburse me somehow first. You're gonna give me my fucking money back and I'm not buying no more TVs from you bastards. Second, you're gonna give me a motherfucking credit on some kind of card so I can get some gas from y'all's bitch ass Murphys. So do it. Hey, at this point, I had gone all the way up the ladder to the leading lady of this here fucking Weatherford Walmart. I was telling her, I was like, dude, you guys fucked up colossally, dude, and had me going back and forth. I pissed. Now give me a gas card, dude. I was like, give me some money on a card because I'm trying to get some gas. She was like, well, the best we can probably do is like $10 on a card. I was like, $10? In my fucking truck getting like 12 miles to the gallon, I've spent way more than $10 in gas doing this bullshit. But begrudgingly, I accepted the $10 card. At that point in time, this bitch started getting upset because I was upset. She started trying to say I was getting a little too belligerent. I was like, I think the situation calls for a little belligerence right now, dude, because I'm getting $10 on a gas card, which is bullshit after all the shit I've been through. She was starting to get a little heated and was like, I need you to fill out this paperwork here about this situation that has occurred, and I need your signature on shit. I was like, you want my Johnny Hancock? I need you to sign here and here indicating that you have received the $10 gas card. I was like, you ain't getting my Johnny no matter fucking what, dude. She started to try to get a little bit loud. At that point, wasn't having it. Had the little clipboard with the paper on there, with the pen. And I was like, you know what you can do with your fucking paperwork? 
fired that motherfucking clipboard into the customer service area, dude. Just fucking fired it, dude. Un uncaring if it was to hit some old lady just back there trying to count money or something, dude, or take a return. Shit was sad, dude, but I was pissed. So I fired that motherfucker and walked up out of there, dude, on the way out telling customers, like, don't fucking shop at this whole Walmart. Hope you ain't buying TVs today because they're going to be busted. Now, I don't have a fucking Twitter anymore. I might, but I don't use it. But I used to when I had it. The only reason I did was to go on there and talk shit on corporations and people. I used to try to go hard on 50 Cent and get him to try to beef with me. Never happened because he doesn't care about Tiny Toons little fools like me at all. Anyway, I was on there bashing people most of the time. And I was like, hmm, I think I'm going to get my Twitter fingers ready and bust on Walmart all over this fucking Twitter. So I began tweeting hateful shit. Had about fucking three drips of gasoline in the tank. Started the truck up, barely started chugging a little bit. Psych, no, nah, I had some gas in it, but not much. Anyway, went to the pump at the Murphy's, got my $10 of ho-ass gasoline. Then I went over to the Best Buy here in town. I bebopped my way on up into the Best Buy and immediately told them, listen, Walmart is a bunch of punk ass bitches, dude. Here's what they did to me today. And the Best Buy people were insanely nice to me. And I get that they only were because they knew we had a common enemy, which was Walmart. But they helped me out tremendously and got me the exact TV that I had wanted. Yeah, only not fucking busted. Several weeks later, there was some shit going down on fucking Twitter, dude. Suddenly, I got a DM from fucking Walmart, dude, trying to ask me about what was this situation. Would you like to talk it out with us so that we can see if we can rectify? Hmm. So I got on there, told them in a long ass novel worth of shit in them DMs all about the situation that had occurred at the weather for Walmart that day. I was like, I'm about to get some free shit. I felt like I was playing my cards exactly right by explaining what had happened and making it seem as if I was the insanely bad victim of the fucking situation, which was true, but I played it up as much as possible because I wanted some free shit out of Wally World, dude. We texted back several times back and forth in the DMs, you know, I fucking, uh, yeah, did my thing off in there, and they acted like they were gonna do something about it, but they must have contacted that leading lady and found out that I got pissed that day, and they were like, we ain't gonna do nothing for this fool because he got pissed and fired clipboards dude so my attempts to get free shit were thwarted by fucking walmart dude got no free tv was hoping that i would get two sharp 49 inches but didn't happen anyway fuck walmart for that shit the sad thing is you can say fuck Walmart all you want, but you still end up going there, dude. Like I, I after that was like, dude, I'll never step foot in a Walmart again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like you're not gonna go to a Walmart. Just try not to if you're fucking like lower middle class like me, dude. Then you're gonna have to hit up a Walmart from time to time. But still, it's still fuck you, Walmart. It's still fuck you for all the shit you put me through that day, pissing me off. The two TVs I had gotten from Walmart that day lasted me about a combined four minutes worth of time. This bad boy right here, purchased at the Best Buy, has lasted me about 12, almost 13 years of my life, dude. Shit goes hard. Shit goes real hard. You know what they say. Hindsight is twenty twenty, And when I look back on it, uh, a fucking pallet got dropped, dude. That's all that happened. And a bunch of TVs were fucked. And really, they benefited from me telling them and buying the fucked TVs because then they were able to pinpoint and realize the fucking pallet that had got destroyed of the sharp TVs, dude. So, they were able to remedy the problem by not selling any more busted-ass TVs to anybody else. I was the fucking guinea pig of that little fucked experiment. But, when you think about it, a pallet was just dropped, something accidental happened, somebody didn't say anything about it, like a punk bitch. So, it wasn't none of them ladies' fault, dude. But... It, that's just the way that shit cookies crumble sometimes, dude. And that day, the cookie, he crumbled under the weight of intense fury, firing fucking clipboards and yelling at leading ladies, dude. But that's just what happens. Anyway, now I got a badass TV, and that's the end of the story. That's finito for your ass. 
Jesus loves the little children. Psych, that's not the outro song. Not even fucking close. So here we go.